Hi everyone. We hope you stayed safe and we've really missed having you all together as a school. These have been really strange times, but we're all very proud of how you've managed to handle it. Your interaction online with Seesaw has been fabulous and it's been so nice to try and keep in touch with you through online means. We've been busy organising a return to school in August and we want to share some of what this looks like with you so that you're aware of exactly what you're coming back to. It's really important that you feel safe and secure at school. So we're doing our very best to make sure that this happens. Today, I'm going to share a story with you to help you understand the changes that might be happening at school. And I'm also going to give you some short video clips to explain exactly what this means for our school. Coming back to school in a bubble. Adapted from a story written and illustrated by Kia Matthews for Seer Infant School and Nursery. What does coming back to school in a bubble mean? Don't worry, coming to school in a bubble doesn't mean we'll be putting you in an actual bubble. A bubble is just a small group of people who'll spend their time together in school. It's a bit like a team. It will include some of your friends and one or two grown-ups that you'll already know from school. You might not have all your friends in your bubble, but you'll have some of them. One of the most important things that we need to remember when we come back to school is that we have to stay safe by keeping a safe distance from other people. This can be quite tricky at the start and end of the day when lots of people come to school at the same time. So we've changed our times so that each bubble has their own time to start school and their own door to go into at the start of the day and to leave at the end of the day. Some groups of children might be using the main door to come and go from school. You might be using door two to come in and out of school. Some of you will use the upper door and others will use the middle door. You might use the infant door to come and go from school. When you arrive at school, we will say goodbye to the grown-up at the gate. Grown-ups will stay outside the playground to help keep our bubbles safe. We will go into school together in our bubble. We will wash our hands when we go into the school. We will do this for 20 seconds. This will make sure that we all start our day with clean and healthy hands. To keep our bubbles as safe as possible and to protect them, grown-ups are not going to be allowed to come into the playground at the moment. That means that they'll be dropping off and picking up at the gates. Once you come through the gates, head straight in through your entry door into your classroom. For the time being, from primary three to primary seven, we will not be using the cloakroom. Inside the classroom, you'll have your own little base. This is where you'll keep your jacket, your water bottle, a bag, and any other items you might need. The infant classes will still use the cloakroom for jackets. They will store their snacks and water in a special basket with their name on it. Here is an example of how a classroom might have changed. You can see that all the desks are two metres apart so that everybody has their own personal space. Your bubble will do all of their activities together. You will work together, create together, eat together and play together. Your bubble will have some space inside and some space outside. It will be all yours. None of the children from other bubbles will come into your bubble space and you won't go into their bubble space. Even though we won't be spending time with the children in other bubbles, if we see them, we can wave and shout hello. Everyone will have their own zone of the playground that their bubble can use and these zones will change each week. The infant playground will also be split into zones so that every bubble has their own space where they can use at playtime and also during outdoor learning. We'll be spending much more time outside learning outdoors. This will help us stay safe. Being clean is extra important at the moment so we can keep everyone healthy. 
We will all need to be careful to clean toys after we use them, ready for the next person. And we will wash our hands more often to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves and our friends the best we can. At the end of the day, we will leave school and go home to our family. We won't see each other as often as we used to, but that will make our time in school extra special. One day soon, we hope that we can pop all of the bubbles and play and learn together again.